What is the hidden hand of the men of Jabalan in Freemasonry? How to correctly perform this mysterious sign? And what exactly the triple tau symbol represents? The average Mason or member of other secret orders knows little of the signs and symbols of his own order, let alone that of others. It is very important to understand that almost all the symbols and signs of the elite are very ancient in origin, having deep mystery religion connection. And they served their idols which were a snare unto them. Yea, they sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto devils, and shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and of their daughters, whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan. And the land was polluted with blood. The Blue Lodge Masons, encompassing the first three degrees of Masonry, are instructed that they are seeking the lost word or the lost name of God. It isn't until they reach the level of Royal Arch Masonry, 7th degree Yorkrite, that they discover that the lost name of God wasn't lost after all. It's at this level that they learn the sacred name of Masonry's God. The greatest, but the most terrible moment in the life of a Mason. The three supreme officials of the Lodge, with three separate keys, unlock the wooden box with the secret of secrets, and give him to read a slip of paper, upon which is written the name of the God whose follower, he was Jabalon. The name Jabalon has three syllables, representing a composite God made up of three subordinate deities. The Masonic material identifies the three as Yah, or Yahweh, Baal, and Osiris. Logically, the name should be spelled Yabalan, but Duncan's Masonic Ritual and Monitor admits that over the years the spelling has been corrupted by Freemasonry until it reached its current form. They find that the sacred name of the Masonic God is composed of three names representing the three identities of God. It is so sacred, it takes three royal archmasons to be able to speak it. The three masons grip hands high and low and chant, Jabalan, 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 Jahava. Interestingly, in the ritual drama, the three masons doing the pronouncing of Jabalan are said to have come from Babylon. So, we have a ritual in which three masters come from Babylon to instruct the candidate on how to build the royal arch. Moreover, the three messengers from Babylon inform the candidate that the true name of God, the name that had been lost for so long, is not Jesus, but is Jabalan. They conveniently omit mention of the fact that this is, in fact, the name of a monstrous devil god. Many other facets and activities pertaining to this degree's ritual stamp it as pure Luciferian and its holder as a Lucifer worshipper. During the initiation into the 7th degree Royal Archmason, York Rite, or 13th degree, Scottish Rite, the candidate drinks wine from a human skull. By this monstrous act, he reinforces the fact that he has taken an oath, swearing to have his skull struck off and his brains exposed to the scorching rays of a median sun, should he ever divulge Masonic secrets. He goes on to demand that if he does divulge secrets, may all the sins of the dead person whose skull he is drinking from be heaped upon his candidate's head. In accepting the devil god Jabalan as the sacred name of God, the man rising to this level in masonry or a similar sect becomes demon-possessed, full of the devil, prepared to do the most wicked and foul deeds possible for his hidden deity Baphomet, Achaia Lucifer, Achaia Satan, Achaia Jabalan. Now, the fatal ending in spiritual death sign that is taught for this degree is the one you will find men giving in the photographs in this video. Notably, only higher level initiates and adepts will typically be seen giving this evil sign stamping them as disciples of Satan. The Triple Tau is the most significant symbol, or logo, of the Royal Archmason. It represents the Mason who has reached either the 7th degree of the York Rite or 13th degree of the Scottish Rite, as embodying within the attributes of the Godhead, or Holy Trinity, by blasphemously declaring himself to be the great I am that I am, thus identifying himself with Satan's promise in the garden, ye shall be as gods. Yet another proof of the deviltry of the Jabalan hoax, is the symbol of the Triple Tau, which is the most important symbol of the Royal Arch degree. Made up of three interlinking Tau symbols, T, these three are said to represent a triad of sacred, Jewish powers of king, priest, and prophet. This picture, which is shown here is taken directly from Duncan's Masonic Ritual and Monitor, 3rd edition. It pictures the Royal Archmason performing the magical sign of the Master of the Second Veil, thrusting the hand into the bosom and again drawing it out. Equally blasphemous is that in the lecture on the 7th, or Royal Arch degree, of the York Rite, the Mason initiated is asked the question, are you a Royal Archmason? His answer is required to be, I am that I am. 
In other words, in this degree's ritual, the Mason has not only acknowledged that the devil, in the disguise of Jabalan, is his sacred lord, but he now is declaring that he, himself, a mere man, is the great I am. In other words, he is saying, I am God. Obviously, the Illuminati's Masonic elite do not want the general public to know these terrible things. After all, incredibly, Freemasonry's public image is that it is some kind of Christian group. So, the pretense must be maintained and the secrets buttoned up from the profane and vulgar masses. The name and identity of the hidden god must be concealed at all costs, and thus an appropriate hand sign has been devised to represent this grotesque cover-up. The sign of the hidden hand. The pictures and illustrations in this section give evidence of the importance the Illuminati minions give to the use of hands, either in handshakes and grips, or in various poses. This is zoomed in, higher quality picture of Abraham Lincoln visiting Union military camp. In this photo Lincoln is not giving the sign. However, in some of his paintings Lincoln is doing the exact opposite. Regrettably, America's first president, George Washington, exhibited this sign. More about his connections to Illuminati and its origins in this video. Soviet Union propaganda poster with communist dictator Joseph Stalin. The poster says. Glory to the great Stalin. Lenin and Stalin at Gorky, just outside Moscow, September 1922. Stalin had images of his visit to show Lenin's supposed recovery. This pose was not among those published. After being shot in 1940s, the young man on the right has been edited out by Stalin's people. Stalin's reign of terror in the Soviet Union lead to the deaths of millions of his own countrymen. Vladimir Lenin, Jewish mason who led the communist overthrow of the Tsar in Russia, gives the hidden sign of the men who worship the god, Jabolin. Lenin and his cohorts established the Red Terror, the brutal massacre of tens of millions. Lenin standing with another Russian revolutionist Leon Trotsky. Leon Trotsky was a Russian revolutionary, Marxist theorist, and Soviet politician. After the Bolsheviks took control of the Soviet government, Lenin ordered the formation of the Red Army and appointed Leon Trotsky its leader. Karl Marx, the Jewish radical who inspired Lenin and Trotsky with his communist theories, was secretly a high priest of Satan, see Richard Wurmbrand's book, Marx and Satan. Shown here in his official portrait, Marx is giving an enigmatic Masonic hand sign. In this photo scene giving the same sign again. We see where communists got their inspiration from. Three red communist heroes who conspired to establish a Bolshevik dictatorship in Russia. Sergei Kirov, Mikhail Lewandowski, and Konstantin Mikonishin. These men saw to the purge, torture, and death of untold thousands before they, in turn, were wiped out by Stalin. Lewandowski, center, is displaying his Masonic hidden hand signal. Mikonishin, right, wears the Illuminati virgin cap. Four Gulag Camp Commandants. Note that all four are giving the secret sign of Freemasonry, just as did Communism's founding father, the Jewish Mason, Karl Marx. Lloyd Shearer, right, with actor James Dean in the early 1950s, wrote the famous column, Walter Scott's Personality Parade in Parade Magazine. USA President Teddy Roosevelt, seen reviewing the troops on board a Navy ship, is giving the secret sign of the followers of the god, Jabolin. The fabulously wealthy Salomon Rothschild, founder and overseer of the Vienna, Austria branch of the Rothschild clan. Left-handed path represents dark occultism of magic. Now we find yet another indication of Napoleon's secret society involvement. Wearing red, the color of Rothschild and blood, Napoleon signifies his left-hand path orientation. The symbology of the three-towered church in the background of the painting, behind the curtain, signifies the boast that Napoleon, a political sovereign, is also lord over the spiritual realm. Napoleon was also reputed to be an luminatus and an initiate into the greater mysteries, Areopagite degree. In this famous painting of Napoleon, the emperor is depicted using his right hand and giving the royal archmason hand sign. Secretary of State Colin Powell holds hands with PLO leader Yasser Arafat as he covertly places his right hand in his coat, a sign to other initiates. Powell is a 33rd degree mason and a Council on Foreign Relations alumnus. The late Arafat was also a member of the Masonic Lodge. General Paul von Hindenburg, the notable World War I German war hero of the Russian Front, who won numerous victories. Later, in the Nazi era, a blimp, named after the general, the Hindenburg, was destroyed by flames while attempting to land in New Jersey, after a celebrated transatlantic flight. Many lives were lost. Father of evolution and founder of modern-day science, as well as known Freemason Charles Robert Darwin, giving the hidden hand gesture to the satanic elite. After all, they were the ones funding Darwin and pushing the evolution agenda in today's society. War is hell, said Civil War Union Army Leader General, William Tecumseh Sherman, shown here displaying the sign of the Jabolin cult in this official U.S. Army photo. Hundreds of civilians were massacred during Sherman's fiery march through the South. 
both President Franklin Pierce and President Rutherford B. Hayes, below, are acknowledged to have been Masons in the authoritative book, 10,000 Famous Freemasons, an official publication of the Supreme Mother Council, Scottish Rite Freemasons. Rutherford B. Hayes, President of the United States, 1822-1893. This photograph of Lt. Alicia Hunt Rhodes is from a 1993 book entitled Freemasons at Gettysburg, by Sheldon A. Munn. The caption above the photograph said that Lt. Rhodes was a member and worshipful master, the equivalent of the Lodge President, of Harmony Lodge No. 9, Cranston, Rhode Island. He was also the Grand Master of the Grand Lodge of Rhode Island in 1892-1893. John Jay, chosen by President George Washington and confirmed by the newly assembled U.S. Senate, to be the first Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States. Irish-American politician and author Ignatius Donnelly caused a sensation in 1882 with his book, Atlantis. The Antediluvian World. Donnelly claimed scientific evidence for the existence of the fabled lost continent of Atlantis, which sunk under the sea, predecessor of modern civilization. Donnelly's book even contained a chart showing the alleged evolution of alphabets from the time of Atlantis to the eras of the Mayas, Egyptians, and Hebrews, etc. The Illuminati elite of today believe they are, indeed, descended from the godmen and priests who, alone, escaped the tragic fall of the fabled Atlantis. Disney Studios did a movie, Atlantis, based on the theme, a movie saturated with esoteric codes and symbols. The legendary Thomas Cochran, a British sea captain, gained fame fighting Napoleon's navy. The movie, Master and Commander. The Far Side of the World, starring Russell Crowe, as hero, was based on his exploits. Here he is shown giving not only the Royal Arch Mason sign, but the left triangle as well. U.S. Civil War Officer, Major Robert Anderson of the Confederate Army. Another U.S. Civil War Officer, General George McClellan, Union General of the Army of the Potomac. Russian Mikhail Katkov, 1818-1880, occult publisher of Moscow Gazette. Katkov brought Hindu and Theosophy teachings to Russia. He also published some books of Russian mystic and Luciferian, Helena Blavatsky. How deeply was the Vatican and its Black Pope of the Jesuit Order involved in the 1865 plot to assassinate President Abraham Lincoln? Burke McCarty, in an extraordinary 1924 book, The Suppressed Truth About the Assassination of Abraham Lincoln, alleges that the powerful and influential Giacomo Antonelli, Cardinal and Secretary of the Papal States under Pope Pius IX, supervised the plot from afar, and even hid a murderous associate of assassin John Wilkes Booth in the Vatican State, where he had fled, to protect him from execution by American authorities who sought his extradition. In the book, researcher McCarty includes this photo of Cardinal Antonelli without, however, explaining the obvious secret society hand sign of Antonelli. Don Wilkes Booth left, a well-known stage actor, with his brothers in a production of Caesar, in 1864, just a year before he assassinated President Abraham Lincoln. Booth and his elder brother, Edwin, were both members of the Masonic Lodge, but because of John Wilkes's notoriety, the Freemasons quietly removed his name from their roles. To this day, the Scottish Rites Membership Office maintains that only brother Edwin was a Mason. In the mid-19th century, French writer Victor Hugo, author of Les Miserables, cut a huge swath in occult circles. Here we see the mystical-minded Hugo giving a clear hand sign of Masonic Luciferian design, also pointing his finger to the temple. It was Victor Hugo who wrote the story, The Man Who Laughs, about a boy whose face had been horribly shaped into a permanent smile by fiendish cosmetic butchers. The grotesque tale was the basis for Batman's Joker character. It was alleged that Victor Hugo was not only a Rosicrucian, but was also Grand Master of the occultic order known as the Priory of Sion. Sculptor August Bertholdi was a member of Paris France's Grand Orient Lodge. It was Bertholdi who sculpted the Illuminati's monumental Statue of Liberty, which now graces New York's harbor. The statue is replete with secret society coded messages and symbols of a particularly blasphemous nature. Yet, the vast majority of Americans adore the Statue of Liberty and naively see in her only virtue and goodness. Crown Prince Alexander of Yugoslavia, who resides in London, the city where his father, the late King Peter, fled during the Second World War, is shown on his first trip to Belgrade, Yugoslavia, in 1991. His Royal Highness, along with his family, dutifully posed for this photo. Based on his hand's position, the Crown Prince clearly wanted his secret society associates and the Masonic occultic world to know he was one of them and that the elite's power has now been established in the former Soviet bloc nation. A Republican Party convention souvenir depicting President Ronald Reagan. The website offering it for sale describes it. From the 1984 convention, a smiling Ronnie in a Napoleonic stance. Reagan was given the honorary 33rd degree by Scottish Rite leaders in a private ceremony, conducted in the lame duck president's Oval Office in Washington, D.C., just weeks before his second and final term ended. 
the author has a picture of this ceremony in his files. This issue of the intriguing publication, Paranoia Magazine, included a feature article, examining the tragic life of popular young actor, River Phoenix, who died of a drug overdose on Halloween in 1993. The article's writer, Al Hidel, told of Phoenix's upbringing in the sordid sex cult, known as the Children of God, also called the Family. The cult practiced incest, holy prostitution, and other wickedness. River Phoenix, who was celebrated for his roles in such movies as Stand By Me and Running On Empty, evidently could not escape his past. Why he is shown in the photo giving the sign of masonry is not mentioned in the magazine, but some authorities say the Children of God leader David Berg had high-level political and Masonic Lodge connections. Picture of Friedrich Nietzsche at a young age. He German philosopher, cultural critic, composer, poet, and philologist who wrote The Antichrist, plus fragments from A Shattering Mind in 1888. He blamed Christianity for demonizing strong higher humans. Christianity, as a religion of peace, is despised by Nietzsche. As we see, youngsters were also indoctrinated into masonry with depraved morals. Famous Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart giving the sacred sign. For the last seven years of his life Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart was a mason. The Masonic Order played an important role in his life and work. He was promoted to journeyman mason on 7 January 1785 and became a master mason shortly thereafter. The Freemasons used music in their ceremonies. On the left, 44th US President and Bible denier, Barack Obama, at the election night giving the sign of the Master of the Second Veil. Center, same Masonic gesture at the White House. Presidents are selected, not elected. On the right, North Korean leader, Kim Jong-un, arrives at the railway station in the Russian far eastern city of Vladivostok, Russia, April 24, 2019, to meet Putin. The beloved Vatican Jesuit Pope Francis in this 2008 photo is showing his alliance to whom he serves. The secret brotherhood or the global elite are pulling the strings not only in Vatican City, but on a global scale, controlling the whole Catholic Church direction. Albert Einstein with a friend making the hidden hand. There is no doubt that Albert Einstein was a high-rank Freemason who was also deeply connected to the occult. The word God is for me nothing but the expression and product of human weakness, Albert Einstein's single most famous letter on God, his Jewish identity, and man's eternal search for meaning was written in January 1954, a year before he died. Origin, 185 to 254 AD, is often called an early church father. But, in fact, Origen brought many heresies, including Gnosticism, Illuminist ideology, into the church. Origen, a much-quoted scholar, hailed from Alexandria, Egypt, giving us yet another clue to his heretical philosophies. In this revealing pen and ink drawing, it appears that Origen's left hand is demonstrating the mysterious sign of an ancient secret society. Three regal figures belonging to a Nubian temple. Each carries the Egyptian ankh, signifying rebirth and reincarnation in one hand. Other symbols are also seen. All the geniuses of the world, belonging to secret societies, trying to bring about their grand deception and the new world order, those who worshipped false demonic gods, idols thinking that their master Satan will save and glorify them in afterlife, they're all in a place of misery now, forever paying for their wicked deeds, and the lake of fire has not come yet. Death does not care about your status, education, power, money, religion and all the great ones on this earth went there. In my personal opinion, one of the worst things you can do, if you know the truth, is if you choose to lead someone astray from knowledge, keep it hidden and to secretly control them. This was only one analysis of many signs, more of it will be covered and explored in the upcoming videos. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This Everything Inside Me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.